Hey everyone, so if you didn't see uh, the press conference between Nate Diaz and Conor McGregor, you're missing out because that press conference was fucking hilarious and the fans were into it and I was into it, everybody was into it, and honestly it's probably the coolest shit to see all of this unfolding. Um, it, it's actually quite amazing. Um, so. Let's go through the events. RDA pulls out with a foot injury. Okay. So then Conor McGregor asks Jose Aldo if he wants to fight. Not into it. Um, then Frankie Edgar is brought up. He's nowhere to be found. And Nate Diaz is the last one there. And he couldn't make it to 155 pounds, then it was he couldn't make 160 pounds, then it was he couldn't make 165 pounds, so Connor said, oh, I'll go up to 170, we'll cut it even, and apparently Nate wasn't going to get paid what Nate wanted to get paid, so then Connor, you know, pretty much begged the UFC, hey man, pay him what he wants to be paid so we can have this fucking fight, and now, officially, the press conference happened today, and oh my god, it was fucking hilarious. There was a lot of funny shit said. Uh, Nate throwing out that uh, Connor was on steroids, which Connor then had a very oh my god, what the fuck are you talking about? Reaction, and it was it was a priceless moment, um, as well as Connor <laughs> calling the Diaz brothers cholos and how he would take down. Uh, if he was already, t uh, Nate was talking about how he would only fight midgets, and then he was like, well, I'm going to be fighting midgets and Mexicans, and uh, I'll wipe out the Mexican division, and, and crazy shit was said, and the face-off between them was a little bit lackluster, I was actually expecting a lot more, considering how uh, Jose Aldo uh, made confrontation between McGregor when they fought at, what was it again? God damn, there were so many different dates, 194? Was it 194? Jesus, I don't even know anymore. So much shit has happened in the world of the UFC in the past, you know, day that it's hard to follow. But Conor McGregor, Nate Diaz, fighting on March 5th. Whew, for 196. Um, and, and now I'm going to give my opinion on who I think will win. And honestly, I'm going to go with McGregor, and I love the Diaz brothers, everybody loves the Diaz brothers, they're funny, they're funny cats, you know, they, they've got a lot of, you know, potential, um, it's just, I don't see Nate, uh, really doing anything spectacular in this fight, uh, don't get me wrong, when he fights, uh, when he fought Michael Johnson, it was incredible to watch, and there was a lot of interesting things that happened in that fight, there was a lot of things that I really liked in that fight, but I just don't see it happening. I don't see him beating Conor McGregor. And if you look at them, um, if you look at McGregor and Nate Diaz as they were facing off at the end of the press conference, I mean, Conor McGregor is swollen. That guy's big. I mean, he's a big dude. He's got, dude, his tricep is, is like all the way down, like fucking here, man. He's, his shoulders are huge. He's just, he's a, big guy, I mean, big, muscly fella, um, so, it, it's gonna be interesting to see what, what goes down at 196, but I do have to say Conor McGregor is going to win, because Conor McGregor goes for finishes, and Nate always has tried to go for finishes, but he hasn't had a finish in a long time, um, now, the only thing that I could see happening in, uh, Nate's defense is, Maybe he catches Connor in some sort of submission and that's the only way to beat him. I still stand by that, that Connor is not good on the ground. Um, but he's got an iron chin and I don't think Nick, uh, Nick, Nate could knock him out uh, on the ground if Nate were to get into some sort of ground to pound position. Um, Connor's uh, defense, uh, takedown defense is still pretty good. Uh, Connor predicted that he would finish. Nate at the end of the first round, so Connor for the last few months has been, 
waiting to fight at 155, and now he's gonna fight at 170 welterweight. What's gonna happen after that? Does anybody wanna answer that? Like, I don't even know who the fuck is gonna answer that, because th th this is such a weird turn of events that I don't think anybody could really say, you know, if Connor's gonna leave 170 to go back to 155 to fight Rafael, because uh, I, I doubt that that's even in the books anymore. Um, but what is also funny is Rafael has been tweeting that he still has to beat Rafael for the double belt. Um, man, you literally got out of a fight with somebody who would have brought you millions because of a tiny little foot injury. A tiny little foot injury. If you've got broken bones, I don't know. But your foot only looks swollen. To me and to everybody else, your foot only looks swollen. You could have waited until like midday Saturday, late day Sunday to figure out whether or not the swelling goes down to see if your foot's okay, but you didn't want to do that. You pulled out immediately. Why are you kicking uh, your sparring partner when he doesn't have any pads on? You're a fucking retard. You have no right to be talking about anybody at this moment. Have no fucking right. There's no point to it, but I do think Conor McGregor at 170 is going to be a fucking monster. He was going to be a fucking monster at 155. He's a fucking demon at 145. So, man, I don't know. The, the power translates to all weight classes for him. So I think him being at 170 is going to be perfect for him. Perfect for him. If anything, he can build up more muscle and go for it. Um, it he looks very big right now he looks fucking ginormous and nate beside him looked like a fucking toddler so i don't know what what's gonna really happen but i can assure you this i am pulling for conor mcgregor uh conor is my main choice hell something crazy could happen we'd never know if nate beat conor mcgregor i think you have to give him a title shot um obviously if conor beats nate obviously title shot somewhere i don't you can't give him a title shot in 170 it would have to be at 155 but that's still so awkward that you would see this is the crazy thing what are you going to do if connor wins do you give him a title shot at 155 again or does he stay at 170 do you make him fight a top five fighter in 170 or, or what's the to see all of it's too confusing it's too confusing nobody's going to be able to truly follow that uh train of idea of what's going to really go down but i can tell you this it's going to be fucking wild it's going to be a wild pay-per-view everybody needs to buy this if you can't fucking buy it i don't know what you're going to do i know that i'm buying it it's going to be insane. See you guys later. Whew. Man, I hope this is over. Oh, God, Nate, please don't pull out. Oh, God. I, I don't know what I'll do then. Like, I don't even know what to say now, so what am I going to say then? Oh, God, Nate. Don't fuck this up. Don't fuck this up, Nate.